Hello everyone and welcome to ComScience Simplified. Hope you are having a great day. In today's video we are going to talk a lot about this. The special variable this that is made available to us by JavaScript inside any scope that we are in. The this variable takes different values while in different types of functions which tends to be confusing. In most cases this points to the object that invoked the function like in this case obj because we invoked the function as obj.func. But that is not always true and this is where function methods like call, bind, apply come into the picture. So let's get straight into the details. As stated earlier, in most of the cases, the this variable points to the object calling the function. Thus, if we called a function in the global scope, the this variable would point to the window object, as we implicitly call the function as window.function. If the function is an object method, the this points to the object inside which it is located. When using a function as a constructor, creating a new object using the new keyword, the this will point to the newly created object. But here is a scenario that behaves in quite a weird way. Here we are inside an object method and we define another function inside that method. When you try to lock the value inside that function, we get an undefined because guess what? The this inside that inner function points to the window object. Weird right? We'll work around that in a while. To circumvent the kind of situation that we faced just now, the bind method on the function.prototype comes in real handy. We call it in this way, function name dot bind and then pass an object to it. What the bind method does is, when called on a function and passed an object, it returns us a new function and in that new function, the value of this would be bound to the object that we pass to it. It's a neat little trick to change the value of this binding inside functions. Let's see that in action. Consider our previous example again. This time around, when we define the log name function, let us also call a bind on it. And to that, let's pass the value of the object that we are currently inside. When we do that, log name now gets assigned a function on which the value of this has been set to be the object obj. So in the next line, when we execute the log name function, unlike the last time, we get the correct log instead of undefined because this dot object name correctly resolves to the variable on the obj object this time. Let's look at the call method now. When we invoke the call method on any function and pass it arguments, the first argument passed becomes the this context for that function. Not only that, the function is then immediately run with that context and takes in all the subsequent arguments passed to it as normal function arguments. Thus, at the end of executing a call method, we are not returned a new function like the bind method, but are returned the result of calling that function with the first argument as the this context and the rest of the arguments as the function parameters. Coming to apply, the working of apply is similar to call. What differs is only in the way in which apply accepts parameters. While call accepts arguments as independent variables, apply, on the other hand, takes the this context as the first parameter, then expects the arguments to be passed as an array. That is, the apply method accepts the second argument passed to it to be an array of parameters to be passed to the function being invoked. Here's an example that will help us understand about the functioning of call and apply. We have a Pikachu object which has a first name and a last name property and a greet name method. We also have a Bulbasaur object which only has the properties and no method. How can we make the greet name method to be called on the Bulbasaur object? It's pretty easy using call and apply. We first get a reference to the Pikachu.greet name, do a dot call on it and then pass Bulbasaur as the first parameter and Ash as the second. Same result can be obtained using dot apply. In this case, we need to pass Bulbasaur as the first parameter and an array as the second parameter that contains the string ash. Both these approaches would lead to exactly the same result with us getting the output, hi ash, my name is Bulbasaur. 
That was a quick refresher on the this variable inside a function and how we can use bind, apply and call to make it more predictable. Try answering this question if you think you understood these concepts and have a clear grasp on JavaScript. We have an array of args and we have a func1 and an object obj1. We are using the apply method to call this function on the obj1 and passing the args array as the arguments. Now we wish to do the same thing using the call method. How can we accomplish this? Hint. Think in terms of a very powerful yet simple ES6 operator. Provide your answers in the comment section. Let us know if you like this video by pressing the thumbs up and surely subscribe to this channel for more awesome stuff. We will soon be back with a new video. Until then, happy learning.